Okay, it's December the 9th, and I'm going to show you what we've been doing this weekend. Go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Got the door open. Now we can finally open up this back door. Keith cut this off. Now, we're putting in another body mount because I pretty much told Keith he's not rock crawling with this thing, so he we're going to put in a, th a third body mount. It's six all together. We're going to put it in the middle because he's not going to be contorting this thing like crazy, so it just it's not necessary to worry about flex. Anyways, we're still working on the floor. We're trying to get the other side done. We got the beam across here now. And now that we've opened up the door, we realize, well, we've got to do some shaving here. Gotta go all the way. We've got to tie this into this. So we'll probably have to cut this back. Pull this out a little bit. And then keep going down to where it comes. Uh, the body mounts in. I'll show you the other side. Okay, so... I've got this bar across here, I've got it tacked in, it's tacked in, got this bar in here, but it's, I cut the tack on it because of course we might have to take this beam and push it this way. So we've got to see if we've got to bring the whole thing back a little bit, I'll give you a different view. Okay, here's another view, still got to set that up yet, that's going to be rocker structure. We've got it tacked in on this end, tacked in on this end, but the problem is we think that this thing needs to be brought this way a little bit, so I'm going to have to put my foot on that, shove it back, and then he's going to, we're going to put the cross braces in. He's already got one here, but I think we're going to have to cut it, shove this back, and then re-weld that one and that one, and maybe set up a, a third one, so that way when we shove it back and we weld them these three back on, it should hold it in the place because I think we have to shove the whole thing back about, I don't know what, a quarter of an inch or less? Yeah, a quarter of an inch. So, And we've got the jack supporting this. You can see what the weight has done to this, trying to support it. It's pretty much creased that. But we've got the jack underneath. Not quite center, but and we're just holding it up so that everything... Because everything was kind of doing that, spreading at the bottom, so we jacked it up and brought it back in. So the door looks more even. Before it used to be really tight on the top and spread on the bottom. So we've got a little more even now. What's this door like? This door is horrible, but it could be because the hinges. It could be because of this. We've still got to cut open. I've got a lot chopped out of there, and I'm going to have to retie in. I'm going to have to make some structure, so it's not going to be much fun, but I'm going to have to build it up. It doesn't matter how it looks, because it's going to be hidden. But you can see the door is spread more on the bottom than the top, so that could be in the, when we welded, the hint, welded it in, and the hinges were sagging anyway. So I'm not sure until we get the door off, but we're going to measure it up, measure everything this way, and this way, make sure it's all the same.